So I figured I'd make this video since everyone heard his side of the story, Jason's. Uh, I should tell you how I feel about the situation. And if you don't know what the situation is, you, you should know what the situation is. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm living in a freezer right now. <laughs> For some reason. Yeah, it's bizarre. Uh, the furnace has acted up. It's, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm, uh, it's just acting up. You know what I mean? So we have it turned off right now because I don't want to blow up and die. So. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Hi, Gucci. <laughs> Hi, Stacy. So we've been having the it off and for some reason this house is like a tomb right now and it's it's very cold but outside it's like i i see it on the temp it's like 69 degrees and i'm we've had the door open today and everything trying to get this warm air into the house and it's just not doing that no maybe maybe ghosts are surrounding us right now who knows i hope so Because when I play Red Dead Redemption 2, there's a line in it where uh, Morgan says, we're more ghosts than people now. And I, I kind of relate to that. I, I feel like a ghost most of the time, you know, not really listen to uh, just, you know, just there in existence, but not existence you know I, i'm not really treated like a person in a lot of ways by a lot of people um very dehumanized as a person um and there's this one particular person i have in mind i'm not saying any names i never do um but they've been stalking us and i i don't watch them and I finally, after all this went down, you know, calling the police and I, I looked on their channel and all their videos are about me. And like, we, we broke off our friendship over a year ago um, because they're unstable mentally and um i don't want anything to do with them and they try to come back in my life and hi chibi um i just i don't know what is wrong with them where they just can't leave me alone. Um, I was very specific last time I spoke to this person. Leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. You're a piece of shit. I said that and other colorful words. Ah, um, deserved. Okay. I, I really tried to emphasize leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you in this conversation. Cause they showed up at my house randomly. Yup. Out of the blue. And it's like creep factor mm -hmm. to the max, it's especially when this particular person used to tell us how they wanted to K word, a whole family. Oh my word so does that mean since he told me about the other person he wants to k-word me too like i'm frankly putting this out here because i'm just gonna s say this on the record that 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 freaks me out it scares me it's creepy and i'm always looking out the window always expecting something um to go down 
uh, like I've had my guard up <clears throat> for well over two years now. Um, I don't like leaving my house because I'm afraid I'm going to, some, someone's going to do something to me or, or they come in my house and rob me or something. I don't, I don't know. It's just, I want nothing to do with this person and I don't understand their psychology where they just accept the reality that I want nothing to do with them. That's why you don't see me talk about them or, or, you know, I, I just, I, I kind of hoped being quiet would let all that stuff die. And it, didn't there's still like they were they were obsessed with me in my previous marriage like really is that right yeah they kept saying they he kept saying he was gonna steal me away from chris wow i didn't know that yeah he said i'm gonna steal your i'm gonna steal your wife from you i'm gonna take your wife from you i'm gonna take your kids from you i'm gonna take this from you he said that to, to chris wow i did not i was not aware of that so he, he he said it to you, too. Well, yeah, he said it to me. I didn't know he did that with Chris. Yes, he did. Wow. Okay. Yeah, he's he's been obsessed with you. That's why Chris created the character The Great Debate. Yeah. Un I am The Great Debate. It was oh, hilarious. Yeah. Okay, I remember. Um, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, now I know what that's about. I didn't. It was about him. Okay. I wasn't um, aware of that. Okay. Um, but like this, this, this obsession he's had of me has been eight, eight, nine, maybe 10 years now. It's, been, it's, 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 yeah, there's, it. there's gotta be a point where you like move on. Like I, I you, you say I'm racist. You say I'm crude. I'm ugly. I'm a liar. I'm, I'm a scammer, all this stuff. Like, shouldn't you want to stay away from me then if I was that? Yeah. Wouldn't you want to have nothing to do with me if I was that? Like, you keep saying I'm these things, but yet. <laughs> like. I want to stay away from you because I don't, I don't, I don't drive, jive. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want that. I don't need that. Uh, I, I, I love my husband. I loved my previous husband too. Um, Definitely. I wouldn't leave Jason for the world. I know, I know, I know you tried to make it about, money why i'm with him or it it was a, definitely not or it was because i wanted to manipulate him you never say why i wanted to manipulate him but i'm manipulating him yeah um you you say i'm i'm starving him nope there's gabby uh -uh. <laughs> oh hello boy gavin in the pikachu this is a boy speaking of which he's so cute gavin in the pikachu oh look at the baby it's happening it is. He's going to do the biscuits. He is doing the biscuits for you guys. You're getting it on camera. This is great. This Look is. at that boy. See, this is much more better. Yeah. See, you see that? This this is my life, is seeing Gavin do biscuits on Pikachu. You know, I might be depressed, but that boy just really does bring me up. He's a good boy. Look Say hi that. to everyone, Gavin. Say hi, Gabby. Gavin, you got to look at the camera. Just look at the camera a little bit, Garen. <laughs> there. Look, look, look. He's like, what are you pointing at? I don't understand. <laughs> He's doing his biscuits. <laughs> he is so adorable. He makes good biscuits. Like, okay, go on with daddy. He's like, you guys are talking to me. I will come down. <laughs> right. I will come down and I will cuddle, cuddle you. But anyway, where was I before I got distracted by Gavin? You see how special he is to me? Cuteness. Why would I want to give up Gavin, my husband, anything? 
for a man who is misogynistic, yeah. hateful, crude in his own language, he may not use the conventional cuss words, but he still curses people by calling women whores. That's probably why he's angry at me is because I told him not to call women whores. Right. Um, Accurate. Accurate. See, that is literally the reason that the friendship went sour. Is because I said, please don't place me that I'm doing violence onto someone. I'm not violent. Yeah. And please stop uh, with the other stuff. Like, like, stop calling women whores. Yeah, that's literally what he got mad over. Wow. So now, now we're in this position. I, I remember him yelling and saying, "I had to submit," <laughs> uh, and he never says what to submit to. No. Does he think if 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 does he does he mean himself with the sum the submission or something? Males uh, in general, I, yeah. You must uh, be submissive, Shani. But see, that's such a vague term, submissiveness. It can mean a lot of things. Yeah, it can. I mean, I think you acted quite submissive most of the time in terms of your... You, you're not boisterous or, like, talking all the time in person. You're very different. Yeah. You're quiet. I, it, he, he said that I was. He did say that. That I was more quiet than he thought I would be. That's true. But submitting is like you have no mind left and you let the husband think for you. That's, yeah, that's not going to happen. No, and Paul did not mean that in his letters either. No, it's just trust your husband. Yes, respect him. Yeah, Respect him, trust him, love him. Yes. A and men love your wives. It says it right there. Women love your men. W men love your women. Which is an egalitarian relationship. Yes. That's what Paul promoted, was egalitarianism. Exactly. Bingo. Even, so, even in church leadership, that women can be pastors. There, there's no reason they can't be. Yeah. To me, I'm just trying ahead, to sorry. like put this all together on why someone would react so harshly and, and, and do this for over a year now. Over me literally saying, please stop calling women whores. Somewhere in his mind, I believe, he still thinks it's possible that you might get with him. No. And I'm telling you right now, dude, if that's your motivation, I'm sorry, but she was never into you. I know you think that's impossible and you take the thing where she was joking saying, gee, man, my new boyfriend in her car and she's, dude, it was an act. She's but never. That liked... was also meant to make you jealous. No, I know. I get that. I got, I got that at the time. <laughs> I... Cause I know you, I know the type of guy you're into. Okay. I, yeah, yeah. And he has this, yeah, well, and I'm I'm white. I'm not making racist, okay? I'm white. I'm a white, like, metal-looking guy, and that's what you like. White, metal, nerdy, geeky. Yeah, more metal than nerdy. Yeah, and highly sexual. Yeah. You didn't know that until I posted Ramstein. No. The pussy video. And Ramstein. that intrigued me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm. This is this goes to you. You know who you are, okay? Gee, d do, okay? Not all women are into you. I know you're good looking. Sure you are. You're handsome. You got a great body. Yeah, you do, okay? But your but, attitude sucks. Well, yeah, but your I'm saying- Your personality is shit. I'm just coming- You're never gonna attract a woman if you act like an asshole to them whenever they say something to you that you don't agree with. Sorry, as you were. The bottom line is, is that not every woman wants you. That's not how it works. Some women will absolutely be into you. 
Okay? Without a doubt. She is not one of them. Okay? So I know you have the, you want, you've wanted her. I get it. You have to realize, though, that women have a mind. And if it don't line up in their mind, seeing themselves with you, it's not going to happen. Okay? That's it. She's not into you and it doesn't matter how much you try and I don't know bully her into liking you because you think some women like that 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 submission you have to submit yeah some chicks are subs and might like that she ain't one of them okay she is the opposite of that she's for empowerment of women as am I that's why part of the reason she's with me Okay, I'm pro-women's rights. I'm pro-women thinking for themselves. I even think it's a great idea for them to be pastors and teachers in the church because they're smarter than us in a lot of ways. Okay, that's where I'm coming from. If I was not a Christian, I would worship the female. That's where I'm at, okay? But anyway, she don't like you. She never did in that way. She saw you as a brother in Christ that was doing some good stuff with like the Hebrew Israelite stuff. Absolutely good stuff. Correcting doctrine when they're saying abuse white women because we can. But here you are abusing a white woman. Whoa. Your whole problem with the, with them was they were abusive mentally and <laughs> physically toward women. Yeah. And here you are being abusive toward a woman. Yeah. Who wants nothing to do with you. Who never slept with you? H having a press preference isn't racist. Thank you, man. They really chatted up. Yeah, they did. Boo. He wants a thruple. Ew, no. That's just no. No. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I hate this phone. <laughs> Creepy. Exactly. Butters. And I. This is the last time I'm going to speak about this Who person, hopefully. I'm not going to say this is the last time I'm going to speak about this person because God knows what the moron will do next. No, she but, said as, sometimes they don't care if the woman wants it. That's uh, yeah, that's exactly. probably one of the most worst huge epidemics on the planet is sexual assault on women. And, and now the internet is here so we can it put a light on that. And I am coming to you as a male that's as straight as you get and as horny as you get and like women as much as I could possibly, okay? I would never dream of that shit. Of, of what? Why would you want to put your hands on a woman that don't want it? The, the part of beautiful thing of that is the woman being like, oh my God, you're so hot. Come and get me. What the hell? But I'm telling you, sex assault to women is probably the biggest problem on the planet. So, yeah, you're right. Sorry, honey. Go ahead if you want. That's okay. He's lacking in his love life? I don't think he has one. Two, two, two out of three women get sexually assaulted in their life. So just think of it this way. I know I'm talking to a bunch of women. Y'all, you girls know. Most of us have been sexually assaulted in our life. The majority of us females have been sexually assaulted. And me as a male, yeah, Persnix, he's messing around with us. He probably is rogue. Yeah. I'm telling you the vibes I got, yeah. I think, yeah. Uh, no, he does. I, Molly, I'm telling you that he does. When he was in this kitchen and Shani was chopping up vegetables, he I, and I, I was in the kitchen with him. I should have said something. He was way too close. But he looked down at her butt and he's like, he wanted her. Uh, a relationship? I don't know. At least he wanted to see what she was like, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm this huge, horrible feminist. Yeah. And that was every conversation we had since I'd known him in person was how much of a huge feminist I am. <laughs> it's like, dude, all I want is equal rights. I don't want to take anything away from the male or or discriminate the male or hate on the male or anything like that. 
I just want to be able to have a, a good job at an equal wage, uh, be able to have women be able to take care of their own health care without these freak people get in the middle of it and be like, no, you have a atopic pregnancy, suffer, die of septus. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's insane. And my mother, you know, my mother was as pro-life as you get. But but she said that abortion has to be there. There's a for necessity health, for health care, and that's the the other people that are thinking another way. It's not even pro life. You want mothers to die. Now, you literally just want brood mares. That's the bottom line here, guys. They want women. They want to be. A, and I'm telling you, there's a movement, and it's getting more and more popular to legalize rape. Okay, the incel community. That no, it's not just them though. It's some Christian. It goes with the Dominionist Christians. Oh, ugh, ew. Gross. Okay, look, they want to take women, put them in a corner, stick themselves in them, and make them force them to have a baby, because the white race is dying. Let it die. It deserves to die. Okay, this is sick shit. And it should be talked about way more than it is. But she, Chani's right. Uh, the incel community, red pill guys, are definitely into that type of stuff. Oh, they're so bad. They hate women. And and sure, sugar baby, sure, she lost her marriage because she's a feminist. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's right, Hella. You're right. You're right. I'm telling you as a feminist man look this feminist shit now that they say all males are evil that's weird but i'm a classical feminist 100 percent, 100 percent. i i think egalitarianism is the way to be i do too i'm a human this female beautiful female is my girl and she's equal there's no reason that she's not equal to me you know what i mean like, I'm just a guy. She's a woman. I'm a guy. We're equal. Like, what's the deal? Sorry. I'm not a person with just a hole in between my legs. Right. I, I have a brain. Right. And it requires thinking. It's like a need to think. It's like a need to want to educate yourself. Yes. And the same person who likes to complain about my feminism mm -hmm. listens to everything his stupid sister has to say. <laughs> I think he lives with her, probably. Maybe. It's most I likely. I don't know, but that is weird, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my sister told me I had to give you some money. She's a female. What the fuck do you care what she thinks? She needs to submit. Don't she? You're brain dead, dude. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. Sorry. No. Repent of your division and hate. And understand that women are just like you. They're fucking human beings. We're different because we're male and female. We're different. Okay. That's physical. Right. But it also says in the Bible, there is no male or, or female. female. Oh, no, no Gentile or Jew in Christ. We are all one. There's the living Bible. Shani. She, boom. Gave it to you. We are. It even says that. Well, why is there transgender issues in Christianity? When Paul himself said there's no male and female in Christ. Wow. It's not dependent on your sex. It's dependent on your faith. Yeah. Which I have to say that dude seems to lack faith. I'm not even going into it because I've already said I don't think he's legit no more. By his treatment of us, these people that literally saved, he, who knows, could have ended up dead on the street. And I feel even bad for David Weiser that helped him. Weiser put him up in an apartment. Is he a real Christian? I I don't I I don't know. By his treatment of us, in my opinion, the answer is no. I think he uses Christianity to get in people's lives, and then he messes with them, steals from them, and shit. Yeah, that's where I think he comes from. I'm sorry that I'm saying that. I don't if I'm wrong then the Lord will judge me and I, and 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 that's fine. But I can only say what I see.
Look, she don't like you. Okay? She thought you were a cool brother in Christ, all that stuff. But there is no, in her eyes, looking at you sexually, man. You know, there was no that there for her with you. No, there's a reason why I'm very protective of this man. <laughs> I owe him my life. Stop. I, it was Christ that saved you. I just said, hey, look at, you just saw Stephen Dolan's video, man. And you're like, okay, I'm going to check this out. And it's like, ah, oh, you know. And then you started listening to my shit, and it's like, wow, that's interesting, different. He doesn't look like an asshole Christian. He is not an asshole Christian. He's like a nice guy. Wow. And I look the way I look, which you like. You like the way I look. Looks are a thing, man. And I'm trying to tell you that she ain't into you that way. I'm sorry. And especially you doing all this shit, it makes you look crazier and worse and less attractive to her than you were before. Which was, there's nothing there, man. Yeah, I, I, I'm there. not attracted to guys who talk crap about women just because they're women. Right. Um, who want to be misogynistic and tell women who are not your women what to do. He, you think he cares for me. It, it, you Well, look. There might be a thing there where he is appreciative for what I did for him, and it's Shani did it too. Okay, it was a joint thing. So why can't you respect Shani? You ain't married in the way you ain't married. No, we are married. Okay. Your disrespect of me is disrespect of him. Like his. Like yes. if you disrespected him, it would be like disrespected me. There you go. But see, in his mind, we aren't married. He's never had a he's never had a, a thing with someone, so he wouldn't understand that we are one. Well, I don't know if he's never had a relationship. It's sounding like it. It's looking like it. That like, like he needs to. He needs like to I don't get even like help. I don't even want to be mean about this one. Yeah, I'm just trying to be honest with him. She's not into you. No, and it's ridiculous. He said that we tried to have a threesome. Dude. Ew. Dude. Dude. Ew. Dude. Ew. Is that just because we happen to watch the book of Eli and there's like a sex scene in it? Jesus, he's like a child. You know, like. It's not a sex scene, it's a rape scene, actually. But. It, I'm just not, I'm not trying to be mean at this point. I just want him to know. Even if you think the bully thing. Is like some girls like that. Maybe they do. They, yeah, they do. Well, the it's thing not he's been her. doing for months also, I haven't really commented on this, is he's emails me, and I know it's him because you can, you can obviously see how he writes. Yeah, you're not positive it's him, though. I'm not 100% positive, but he always you comes. Think it is, it's though. a different profile, but it is how he writes. He's probably got a billion sock accounts with weird stuff, you know. Like, it, Yeah, it's now. the same, it, it, and it's always the same thing he likes to say over and over and over again. Go cheap. I don't think that's just some random person who comes to me and talks to me like that. Hi, Lucy. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. But I, I like seriously, if I was in a position like like I'm just thinking to myself, if I was in a position that he's in and there was a girl on YouTube that I was like, oh, my God, she's so beautiful. And I, I want to be with that so bad. And, and, and I find out that she finds out about me and she sees me and goes, uh, we could be friends. I'd be very, very devastated, of course. But I'd accept it. <laughs> You're still trying to break us up to step in and try and make a move. There's going to be nothing because she ain't into you. And at this point, if it ain't me, I think she's into women more than men. Okay? I see. I see. Okay? I live with her every day. I'm here all the time right now because I'm a loser and I don't have a job. Fuck me. Pray for that. Pray for that. That he finds some guidance and somewhere yeah. to go. Yeah. 
whatever it's going to be, is I'll be probably it's pretty miserable because it's just no, going to be a I, job I, and... I, no, pray that it's something he'll love. It, it'll, Thank you. It'll be aw like he needs prayers on this because he's struggling trying to find something. Yeah. Anyway, if that if it happened and we crumbled apart and there's no relationship with us anymore, she ain't into you still. You ain't going to be with her. I'm sorry. No. I apologize. Now, be an adult, realize the reality, and go, you move on. Go find a, I'm telling you, dude, you find, if you're straight, you're going to find a girl that you like. Hopefully, you got to change some shit, though, with yourself, man. You can't be this chauvinistic asshole, because most women out here don't like that. Okay, she's, they just don't. You're going to have to change that. And Paul told you to change it too. Your mindset on this is toxic. It's not Christian. You're not acting Christian saying submit, woman. That's not Christian because Paul never said it. He said women submit to your husbands and husbands submit to your wives. It's egalitarian relationship of moving together. Because that's the only way you can have an a good marriage. That Paul knew that. He was a widower. So he's going to tell you, yeah, your woman should respect you as a man. Sure. But you walk with her hand in hand, equal rights. Because she's a human being just like you. And Paul got mad at one woman in the church that was teaching because she was teaching heresy. Then the Christian guys come in and say, see, a woman's not supposed to teach. I never suffer a woman to teach. No, it's I, I don't suffer that woman right there to teach because she was teaching heresy, that Christ was not Messiah, that he probably lived on and stuff like that. That was going on back then, definitely. Didn't we study that part of the Bible together? I think we did. Yeah, pretty sure we did. A long time ago. A long time ago. Yeah. Yeah, we did. You had a handout over it, I think. Maybe, because it's women in the church. Yeah. The guys want to make it all males. We got the power. We've been together for six years. Yeah, we're close to the, we're close to the, the seven year mark here. We are married. Like, you're, it's common law, seven years you're together, you're married. But we are married now, because for I'm a reverend, number one. Okay. If we were recognized married in the state of Colorado. Yeah. It was recognized that we were married in Colorado. That's correct. Because they do that. They have common law marriage uh, recognition, which it should be across the country, but it's not here. So th this is part of the reason why people love to say, you're not really married. You're not really together. Yes, we are. We were committed since March 3rd, March 7th of 2018. That's our anniversary, if you want to call it that. That's our anniversary. We were married on that day. Five years now, a little, we're longer than that a little bit. Yeah. That's it, man. Your deal is your deal. Go deal with your deal. You know what I mean? Go find someone else. Yeah, be, I'm telling you. Look, there was a girl before Shani that I was real. I loved her. I definitely loved her. Okay. She went away to be with her guy in Maine. And that broke up. And then she started calling me on the phone. And it was like, man, it was like very close. And I probably would have married that girl if I said, come home to me. Just come home. Okay. She lived in Wilkes-Barre. So Pennsylvania to her was home. I said, come home. All right. Would have. I, I didn't say that. Okay. Because I, I, I was still very much a boy in mind. And uh, it's something that really, really hits hard. When you, you're not with a person that you've really had strong friggin' feelings for. It sucks. But you gotta move on. You have to. Because you end up doing stuff like you're doing right now, bro. You're acting weird, dude. 
Real weird. Okay. Okay. Saying you're going to come here and take pictures and video of this place, which you realize that the, the person that owns this place would put you up on charges immediately. Okay. He, he wouldn't wait a second. Me, I don't want to do that type of shit to you. So I'm telling you to just leave us the fucking alone. Both of us. If it's not you coming here to drop off shit and, and, and say buy in your mind to us forever, I didn't want to see you ever again in any way. I don't want to see you then either if you did that. But at this point, you're so weird. I don't care about my shit anymore. You stay the fuck away from us. Is there anything else you'd like to say, honey? Um, I think you said everything you needed to say, hon. I think so. Because, like... You did, too. I Maybe. did. I said what I needed to say. Like, I don't know how to make it any clearer for this guy. Stop calling me. Stop giving me these weird messages. Stop hanging around the neighborhood that you don't live in. You live in Philadelphia. Like, just fucking quit it. Yeah, we met the, this dude. Stay in Philly. Leave <clears throat> us alone, man. Yeah. He's holding your belongings hostage because he's a control freak. At this point... I don't care anymore. I really, I, 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 I got mad because this was ruminating my head. And I made a video saying, put shit on my porch. I deserve it. I really do. And you know I do. And I do. But he's so weird. He's so... Screw it. It's gone. Whatever. I got my SNES, so with my EverDrive, fine. I have my Switch, and we have the computer, and that has Coral Island on it, and, 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 uh, Fallouts, and, and Skyrims, and, and, uh, your game that you like, Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. Yeah. I got a bunch of alien games. Yeah, we got, you're right. You're right. See, that's why, that's why, that's right, we are. That's why it, somebody really smart that we listened to said, focus on the stuff you have, not what you have lost or want. Exactly. Oh, that, 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 he's Indian, right? Yes. The, he does the spirit videos about angels and stuff. Yes. He's awesome. Doesn't he still? Yes. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. The house, I gave him a house for a dollar. Yeah, but he said he would give us money. So, yes, he does. From the sale of it. Yeah, he does. He, yeah, the, after we had lost everything, he, he said, yeah, I, I, I'll give you some money from the sale of it. Um, but he didn't do that. He showed up at this door with ultimatums instead of help for us. That's not what a Christian should do. Oh, I, I might have this and this and this and this and this and this for you. But this is what you have to do. Yeah. Hope you two are doing well. Can't, can't you? Yeah, you have a little something. You are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Love you. Good advice to focus on what you have. Yeah, it is. Whoever he, that, that Indian guy, he's awesome. I, no, but I would he say said he would give you money for the sale. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he said. He did. You don't have that money no more. I don't know what he's got. I don't really care. Anyway, we love you guys. You're awesome. You want to help us out? The things are in the description. And uh, Jesus Christ is king. Peace and Maranatha. Bye, guys. He's a charlatan. That's correct. Exactly.